All right, welcome back guys. This is day five, day four of the tech startup. Uh, and uh, first things first, actually, I think we've hit 500 subs by the time this video comes out. So thank you so much for that number. Imagine we didn't hit it in this video. So, uh, anyways, even the fact that we're close to 500 subs is just crazy to me. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, that's just crazy. I'm not usually a guy that focuses on numbers like that. But 500 people on a channel to me is just like a crazy number. So thank you so much for that number. I'm truly grateful for this, the, the amount of uh, support that this channel has got. And trust me, there's going to be more content to follow. I'm not going to stop. And I'm going to just keep pumping out content for y'all. And I hope to build some sort of self-taught tribe or community for us because we need it as self-taught developers. So... Again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart that it really means the world to me. But nonetheless, uh, in this video, just wanted to talk about my mind, drink a can of Pepsi and talk about where we stand with the tech startup. So later in the video, you're going to see uh, where we are with the database and the authentication. But right now, I, I just wanted to just let loose on what I'm thinking about for this tech startup. Firstly, the monetization and First, the first thing I wanted to talk about is the monetization part. I know money is something that's uncomfortable for a lot of us, especially people that didn't grow up with money or found it like a little weird, but we're making this business obviously to help customers and to help people get jobs and to help companies find employees. But there's also a money aspect to this, right? And now that I think of it, the only real way we can make money off this tech job platform maybe it's not even going to be tech but job platform will be through the companies paying per uh, view and i think it benefits both the employee and the company to do this because if you're applying to jobs you probably don't have a lot of money to begin with so why would you pay to find a job and secondly if the company can pay for premium people or like people that are real, that have good resumes, then they would probably do it too. So that's the monetization idea that I'm having right now. Again, nothing's set uh, until the thing comes, but um, it's fine. Like everything's good thus far. Um, in terms of what I've been doing, you will see in a second, but I've finished up the authentication things. I mean, not completely, but we've mostly did like the coding. And I know it's like, whoa, we finished it so fast, Nazar. It's because Superbase has been freaking amazing. Like I, I was shocked how good Superbase was. So if any of the Superbase developers, the CTO, I forget your name, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, Dan or I forget, man. I'm sorry. But it was it was so easy to use. Like I'll, I'll even show you right now like what authentication looks like. It's literally like two or three lines of code. Like I've never seen that with authentication before. When I was doing authentication with MongoDB, it was four hours of just headaches. So that's how I got the authentication thing so quickly. And other than that, that's what we've been working on for like the past day or two, like just authentication, um, business ideas and, and stuff like that. And with the monetization thing kind of set, I think that's the direction we want to go down. Um, it solves a lot of problems and really sets the path for us of what we sort of want this application to look like. I don't want to be the money guy, but it is important to talk about it because we need money to live. We need money to survive and monetizing from something that helps people is also um, very important. And to make money, you have to solve problems. And, and, I, and I looked and I did some research last night. And people tend to have problems with these job platforms. So not only do I want this then to be a tech job or like a startup job uh, application, but I want it to be a platform where the employees or like prospects have the best possible resumes and they are real people. And also for companies to have actual jobs and not from outsiders, if that makes sense. So I'll clarify. So right now in a lot of these job platforms i believe that indeed and like a lot of these platforms they scrape the internet for job listings and then they post it on their platform i don't want that i want companies that are serious about having employees to upload their things like their job listings and then have future employees or prospects apply with actual good resumes and actual like 
you know, real show and like actually show that they're able to code or able to show their skills in like a better manner and for them to pick easier and much faster. And some of you have asked this, but in terms of how much I'm spending on this, you'll be shocked. I'm not spending anything at all. Like, you know, when we look at movies, you know, we think of like in uh, the social network, the Facebook movie, Mark Zuckerberg got funding eventually by like virtu uh, virtual uh, venture capitalists like Peter Thiel. And for us, you know, a lot of us developers, we're never going to have that until we show, obviously, until we show that we have a product that's valuable. So right now I'm not spending any money. I don't expect any capital. And frankly, I don't want capital because it turns in, it turns into this need for monetization right away when I want to just gauge on how valuable this product is and see if there's actually a need for it. And then maybe, maybe we get some outside funding. But for now, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm trying to be as cheap as possible, getting the, the minimal viable product out there. And then after that, once we have that minimal viable product that, as we talked about last time, that minimal like product, then we can start testing it, seeing if people like it, update, renovate, and then keep trying again. And right now, I'm, I'm about to go hit a workout, um, just heating up the garage because it's freezing outside. It's like negative 10 degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit for you Americans, but, but anyways, let's just get right into the coding part. Let me show you what we've done. And yeah, just see you there in a second. Essentially, we have the nav bar, which is just these three things up here. And each one takes you to a specific page, right? So right here we have the, this is Next.js, by the way. Um, so we have the login, the sign out, and the sign up page, which are all stored in the nav bar component. So again, this won't be too much into detail, but Next.js routing works like this. So anything, any folder in here becomes a router. So if you go to slash uh, login, which is a folder name right here, it'll take you to the login page. See that? Login. And if you go to the sign up page, it takes you to the sign up page. So really, really, really cool. That's why I absolutely love Next.js. But that's not the point right now, right? So how I made this uh, authentication page for the tech startup is I know it doesn't look good. I know it doesn't look good. But all I did was I went to Superbase. I connected their APIs, which I cannot show or else I'm gonna get hacked or you know someone's gonna use my, uh, my authentication things, which I don't wanna pay for. But I went here, uh, I got the authentication keys and then I poop uh, and I connected it to my code, which is in the libs Superbase client. So all I did was connect to the Superbase using this code right here. That's all I had to do. And to make the sign out and the, uh, sorry, the sign up and the logins, I know this looks kind of scary for you, uh, for, for you if you're new to React and Next.js, but all I did was make the states and then I just connected it using the await auth sign up with an email and password, which is right here. And then I just connected these. So these two email, I basically put them in here, whatever the value and thing was here. And then the user can now sign up. It's really simple, right? And so essentially what's happening here is every time the user puts in an email and he submits it, um, it is processed and put into here. So these are users that are using our application. Now, obviously I put them in but uh, this is really, 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 really cool. Now, I will be following, I'm gonna do this tutorial in a bit uh, tomorrow. It's, let me see what it's called. Uh, and I'm excited because I can finally know how to do server side and stuff like that, but super exciting. Um, everything is up to par right now. Um, I'm, I'm also gonna put in some Google authentication tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, everything's looking good. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.